Hi ladies. So today let's talk about style vocabulary. I have had several conversations with women in my styling and coaching business where women will say that, oh, I like somebody's style, but I don't exactly know what I like about that person's style. And my response to that has always been, what about you? What do you like? What resonates with you? Can you check your closet and see what and what you have in there? Maybe you've had them for a while and they are no longer saving you. Being able to discover your personal style vocabulary will not only help you to shop better, but it will also help you to slay better if you get what I mean. So without further ado, let's get into some of the solutions that I have been able to come up with over the years. First is to always look at your wardrobe, your past purchases or items that you already have in your wardrobe. How did you make those decisions? If you can remember, how did you get to acquire those pieces? Was it because you went out with a friend and she saw something that she felt was beautiful and she persuaded you into buying it? Or was it something that you saw by yourself at first, on first impulse, and you fell in love with that item and you just brought it home without considering how it will fare in your closet down the line? Those are the questions that you need to ask yourself. Another angle that I like to look at when I am talking about personal styling, when I am looking at developing my style vocabulary will be, what is it about that piece that attracted you in the first place because it may be the red flag <laughs> it may end up becoming the red flag for you so what is it about that piece that got you attracted because at the end of the day if you are not wearing it or you end up not wearing that piece or item then it is a red flag so you want to know what exactly is it about that item that attracted you to buy it in the first place the next that i would advise that you do when you are trying to come up with your style vocabulary is to look at your current lifestyle. I watched a video somewhere where someone was talking about the BBL, body type, budget, and lifestyle. The person was talking about that as a parameter for our style, for our personal style. So what I'm trying to say in essence is if you are trying to come up with your style vocabulary, you can go at it from your personality angle from the angle of your personality, who are you, what do you like to wear, what do you not like to wear. As an adult, we should be able to know that. You know what you love wearing and what you do not like to wear. And you also should know what you would love to wear, but scared of wearing. So you want to, de to get to the root of why you don't want to wear those pieces. Is it because of your current lifestyle? Is it because of your current body shape? Is it because of what people will say, how people will perceive you, etc.? You need to know why you are not wearing what you love to wear or what you would love to wear. So once you've done all of that exercise, you can now begin to put description to the things that you like, that you actually like to wear, and the things that you just don't want anywhere around you. It's an exercise that you need to do because I had to do it when I was trying to come up with my own personal style vocabulary. Know what you want to wear, what you like, and what you do not like. And why you like what you like and why you don't like what you don't like. Because when you are making your purchase or when you are shopping, you are making that buying decision. If you do not understand the why, why am I buying this? Is it because I love it? Is it going to stay in my wardrobe for long? Is it going to serve me? Does it meet my lifestyle requirements, my current lifestyle requirements? Or am I buying it for some time in the future? Those are the questions that you need to ask yourself in order to come up with your vocabulary. And by the time you begin to answer the questions of what, why, when, how, where, all of those questions around your style, you will begin to 
gradually come up with your personal description for your style like for me i like girly things i like feminine things i i just love beautiful feminine things around me that is just my style and my outfit will always reflect that my appreciation of beautiful things my appreciation of womanhood and femininity all of that will always come up in the way i present myself and those are the items and pieces that i am attracted to because they not only make me happy they are a reflection of who i am because i love beautiful things and they are also a reflection of my current lifestyle i don't buy things that don't fit into my current lifestyle and they also fit my current body so i am not buying things to keep for some future time to wear or to wear when i am at a certain body shape so whatever i am buying i am wearing it now and so my style description for myself will always be feminine elegant chic comfortable those are my style vocabulary those are my style rules and of course budget friendly in line with my financial capacity sustainability it's very very important so i know it's a ramble this video is a bit of a ramble pardon me but i do hope and pray that you get what i am trying to say i love you so much my ladies let me know what you think about style vocabulary in the comment section below or do you think it's just a buzzword like we should just everybody should just do whatever they want to do let me know in the comment section below don't forget to subscribe to the channel like the video share the video and i will see you in the next one until then stay feminine stay beautiful and keep expressing i love you so much and i am rooting for you bye